So I'm going to do a little video on OSDs. Um, I have found these to be quite a problem in the past. Uh, a lot of information out there set up. You've got to grab bits and pieces. And again, this is all my opinion. You've got to grab bits and pieces and try and fathom out how it all works and lots of issues with it. There is a lot of information on the net about it. But let's jump into it. So the type we're going to be looking at today is the little uh, mini. And the little mini and the little um, the standard version now here's a bit of a a bit of a picture of what they do so basically what you're going to need is 5 volt power to it so they're both the same 5 volt power to it if you're connecting it to your nase board you will need the um, the RX and the TX and they're swapped around so it's T from the board to the R and R to the T the DTR you don't have to worry about. This side is your video, so you've got uh, ground and video in and ground and video out. So video in is from your camera, video out is to your transmitter. Down here you've got, for some reason, you've got a ground and battery one and battery two. So you've got provisions on these to, to monitor not only your main flight control battery, but if you're like me and you use a four or five cell and you've got a 12 volt uh, camera, and rather than use a step down converter uh, what you do is you run a separate battery so this will actually monitor your main battery and your second battery it does the RSSI and it does your current sensor which is like your little plug-in unit so if you've got an aeroplane you've got your wind speed and all that sort of stuff altitude which is GPS so I want to keep this video fairly simple and straightforward as I said, it's been a real pain in the uh, backside for me trying to set up one of these and get it working. Finally got it sorted, thought I'd do a really quick video to show you the steps through, uh, 10 easy steps how to get it working. So these set of pins here, which are the same for your FTDI, for programming it with your computer, and they also double to connect onto your board, but we'll, we'll go through that in detail a little bit later. So. This set here, which is the uh, video section, this is your video section down here. This section here, which you've got for your, your battery and your RSSI, this is your battery and your RSSI here. So, uh, fairly straightforward. What I did with these, I've actually destroyed one of these because they've got those silly little uh, solder pads on there where um, I soldered the the pins onto it and the pins came off so I put a bit of flexible uh, wire on there with some heat shrink colour coded so you know which ones are ground, which ones are signal which ones are positive and negative and as you can see there I've got one, two th I've got one, two, three, four, five but I've got this actually six pads there so I've got my ground connected, my two batteries, my RSSI I haven't got the current sensor because I don't use that flying quads, um, don't use that, and the ground, extra ground if I need it. Now all the grounds on these are the same. You may be wondering what this is, this ground and 5 volt. Um, you can actually power or put pins on that, but you've got ground and 5 volt up there, so to me there was no need to do that. This guy here, if you have a look at it, you've got, we'll turn it around the right way, you've got video in is the top, video out is the bottom, so the way I remember that, if you're eating something, it goes in the top and comes out the bottom. And then you've got your ground on this side. Now there's 12 volt here. Now this is where a lot of people may be getting confused. I know I have, that's how I burn out my minimum. Put 12 volt on there and fried it. So you don't need to put power on this end. This whole thing powers up from this end. You'll see later the two lights on there. Everything will work fine. This guy here, what you've got, battery, number one ground, battery number two ground, your RSSI ground, your current sensor and ground. So basically everything that we had there. So that is a look at the OSDs. This guy's got a reset pin on it. These run off a, um, a 328 board. So we'll go in, we'll have a look at how you program them. We'll have a look at how you set it up in the GAUI. And then we'll have a look and see how it looks on the screen because there's a really neat trick or way of actually calibrating these and I got this off another video on YouTube but there's a really neat way of calibrating these, it's really 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 simple so we'll jump into that